So we've finished building the post feed area. Now as a final step, we'll go to our profile page. And for our user's profile, we not only want to show their name, avatar, email, about, and when they joined, but also their posts. So we'll do so in this profile tabs component. And in addition to a user's post, we'll display who they're following as well as their followers. So we'll begin with showing a user's post and we'll head to the profile page and within componented mount we'll create and execute a new function called get posts by user we want to get posts by a user's ID which we're getting from props and we'll create get posts by user in our API file So export const get posts by user. We'll take their user ID. We'll await axios.get slash API slash posts slash by and then add their user ID. And then back in profile, instead of using a then statement, or get post by user, we can turn this callback into an async function and we'll await get post by user. So we can say const posts, the post that we get back will then be put in state. So we'll create a property in state called post set to an empty array. Then up at the top, we'll import the profile tabs component, and this will be from components slash profile slash profile tabs and we'll head to the bottom of our markup we'll go right before the closing tag of our list and this is where we're going to display the users posts following and followers so two profile tabs will pass auth user from state posts and we'll make sure to destructure posts from state as well as auth from props then we'll head to profile tabs we'll uncomment our imports and with our profile tabs component we'll have three different tabs and they'll correspond to the numbers 0, 1, or 2. We need to keep track of the number of the tab that we have selected in state and we'll use a handle change to update it to toggle between one of the other tabs. So first we'll create our app bar which will have the titles for our tabs. So we're, we're going to return a div. Within it will be our app bar. It'll be position static, the color default. And we'll need the tabs component, which will contain individual tabs. And each of these tabs will have a label. First will be posts, the second following and the third followers and tabs will need to know in its value prop the tab that we're on so we'll create a tab property and state set initially to zero so by default we'll, we'll be displaying our posts and then render we'll grab tab from state we'll want an on change for tabs and we'll call this handle tab change so this will update state it'll need event and value so we'll set the tab to value and we have an indicator color which will be secondary 
a text color secondary as well and it'll be full width so underneath our app bar we'll add a condition to say if we're at tab 0 we want to display our posts and to format each tab a bit we'll create a custom tab container component so we can make this before we export profile tabs and say const tab container we'll accept children and we'll just immediately return a typography component and this component will be a div and we'll use the style to set padding to 1m and we'll pass the children in between the tags for typography so to display our posts so we'll get posts from props as well as user and off we'll also grab the post component this will be from our components folder in index post we'll take the posts we'll map over them for each post we'll display the post component so this will need a key prop of post.id post will be set to post so we'll pass the entire post down it'll need auth data and now if we save and take a look at a user's profile we forgot to bring in get post by user my mistake in profile now we can see in our profile for our user, our profile tabs component with our three tabs, it's by default it's set to posts and we can see all and any posts that we've created.